Hello, I'm Sean from BookSource, the company that created BookSource Classroom. I'll be your guide through a series of videos to help you better understand BookSource Classroom and its many features. And today we're going to talk about how to show and hide certain data. So let me go ahead and show you where that's at. Now it's on the settings page and if you need to get to settings, just look over here on the left and underneath account, there will be settings and that takes you right to this page. If you're on your phone or another mobile device, you can also just click the main menu and you'll find it in some of the location there. So then go over here and click on Show Hide Data. And that's going to take you down on the proper area on the settings page. Now, there's two different areas here. There's teacher library data and student library data. And teacher library data is an area that's only used if you're using the old library page. And what I mean by that is if you have this library page up here, let's go ahead and click on it right now. If your library page looks like this, you're on the new library page. You can also check that by seeing that it says beta up here. This project or this library page has been in beta for quite some time and it's actually very stable. It's much more powerful than the old library page. So we recommend you using this instead of the old page. Now, if you're a new user to the program, you're already using this page. No problem. You don't have to do anything. Um, if you're a, some, or a user that's been using this program for a long time, um, you're probably maybe using the old library page or maybe not, but if you are, try out the new library page again. We've made a lot of improvements and it's much more powerful. And that's ultimately where you're gonna get the best experience out of BookSource Classroom. So let me go back to the settings page and then go back to show hide data. If you're on the old library page, there was a grid of information that showed all the books in your library. This is where you would actually say what you wanted to show up in that grid. And so that would be all the information. On the new library page, none of this is used, none of these settings. So you can just totally ignore the, this area if you have beta showing up next to your library page. So student library data, though, that is still used. So student library data, as it says down here, it's going to show up in your student's checkout view. So when they go to check out books, they can click on that book, flip it over, and get certain information. So let's show that right now. If I click on my student's view, I'm going to go to a random group and a random student, check out. They're not overdue books, but it's okay. They can still flip them over and see what's in there. Um, let me flip this book over. Okay, I can see that I've got the ISBN author, the reading, and I've also got the annotation here. So this student can read about this book and see what it's about. They can also see what guided reading level it is and if it has any books or subjects. This one does not. This one does have books or subjects that show up, and I can still read the annotation and all of that good information. So. The students can easily figure out what a book's about before they actually want to check it out and they don't have a need to actually go to the bookshelf to see what a book's about. Now, let's go back to that settings page. And you can do that by just clicking Bookstore's Classroom logo up here. I'm going to put in my password for my teacher area. Go back to settings. I'm going to go to show hide data. Okay, now what if I didn't want to show them the guided reading level or the Lexile or AR? Um, I could uncheck this box. And what if I did want to show them the location? I could click location. Um, I could also say that I don't want to show fiction or nonfiction. I just want them to be able to see the annotations and book source subjects and location. That's it. Well, let me go ahead and save those settings. And now I'll show you how it looks different. So I saved it. And now if I go to the student view, I'm going to go to that same student, check out and read, and let's flip over this book. Okay, you can see that it still has that annotation, it still has books or subjects, but it also has location showing up. Now, this book doesn't have a location assigned to it, but if it did, it would show up right here. Same thing with this book. There's no location assigned, but if it did, it would show up here. And you'll also notice that the reading level is not showing up. Now, there are a lot of teachers that don't want the students to see the reading level whenever they're checking out a book because they think it might influence what they end up reading. Uh, other teachers want them to be able to see what level the book is. So it's totally up to you, and we know that every classroom is different, so you can tailor the product to be exactly what you want it to be. So I hope this shows how you can show and hide certain data, especially in the student area, um, and I thank you for taking the time to learn about it. I thank you for taking the time to learn about Bookstore's Classroom in general. And be sure to check out the other helpful videos that we have on this channel.